welcome to the Topic Master Series presented by Edu Kingdom College. In this video, we'll be looking at multiplying and dividing fractions. Before we get started, let's have to do a little bit of a revision. What are fractions? Fractions are a part of a whole. The number on top we call a numerator and it's the number of parts we have. And the number on the bottom we call a denominator. It's the total number of parts. So, let's have a look at multiplying. Multiplying fractions require us to multiply the numerator and the denominator separately and form a new fraction then simplify. We have an example here. We have 1 over 2 times 2 over 9. You can see all we have to do is time the numerator together, 1 times 2, and times the denominators together, 2 times 9, to give us a new fraction, 2 over 18. Once we got 2 over 18, we just need to simplify it, which will give us 1 over 9. With that simple idea, there's some questions for us to try. If you get the hang of it already, please pause the video and have a go. Let's look at the first question on the left here. 1 over 2 times 2 over 3. What we need to do is just to times the numerators, 1 times 2, which will give us 2, and then times the denominators, 2 times 3, which is going to give us 6. So we have a new fraction of 2 over 6, then we just have to simplify it by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 2, which will give us a new fraction of a third. Now, the question in the middle here, 1 over 5 times 4 over 9. Again, we just have to times the numerators by the numerators, denominators by the denominators. 1 times 4 gives us 4, 5 times 9 gives us 45, so the new fraction is going to be 4 over 45. And 4 and over 45 cannot be simplified, so the final answer is just 4 over 45. The last question on the right here, 2 over 7 times 5 over 4. We have the numerators of 2 times 5 gives us 10, and the denominators of 7 times 4 give us 28, gives us a new fraction of 10 over 28, and we just have to simplify it by dividing both numerator and the denominator by 2, which gives us a final fraction of 5 over 14. You will realize earlier in the questions that once you have times the fractions, once they multiply, the fraction actually gets smaller. But usually, in normal multiplication, pretend if we do 2 times 3, we get a bigger number of 6. So why is it when we multiply fractions, give a smaller fraction? Let's have a look here. On the first one is 1 over 2 times 2 over 3. What it basically means visually is I have a half here in yellow coloured and 2 thirds coloured here in orange. Timesing them together is just the amount that overlaps. If you realize, once I put the 2 together, the only part that overlaps is actually going to be 2 over 6, which is the same as 1 over 3. With the same idea for 1 over 5 and 4 over 9, I have 1 over 5 colored in yellow and 4 over 9 colored in orange. Once you put them together and overlaps, the only part that overlaps is going to be 4 over 45. How about when we have mixed fractions and improper fractions? You have realized earlier in the last question on the right, it's 5 over 4 times 2 over 9, which gave us a fraction that's actually bigger than one of the fractions and smaller than the other. Why does it not apply that the final result is going to be the smallest once we have a mixed or improper fraction? Again, I have here visually 5 over 4 here colored 2 over 7 in orange. I need to apply both of the 2 over 7 to both of the boxes in yellow. So I'll have two parts of overlapped, which would give me the total of 5 over 14, which is bigger than 2 over 7 and 5 over 4. This basically tells us the idea of when we're timesing proper fractions by another proper fractions, we would always give a smaller fraction. But in cases when we have improper fractions or mixed fractions, it does not fully apply. Now, we have a word problem. It says, Leah ordered pizza. She ate a few slices and five eighths of the pizza was left. Leah's brother, Leo, was also hungry and ate half of what is left. It says, A, what fraction of the pizza did Leo eat? And B, who ate more of the pizza, Leah or Leo? We can see that we have five of eight pieces left. 
and we are trying to find half of it. So we have 5 over 8 times 12. 5 over 8 times 12 is going to give us 5 over 16. Therefore, Tom ate 5 over 16 of the pizza. Now, who ate more? Tom's portion was 5 over 16 and Leah's portion was 5 over 8. We can compare Tom and Leah's portion by making the denominator of both portions the same. So if I expand Leah's portion, it will give me 10 over 16. Therefore, we can see that Leah ate more of the pizza. Once we have gone through multiplying, let's have a look at dividing. Dividing, we have to turn the second fraction upside down, then multiply the fractions, and simplify if needed. What does that actually mean? Let's have a look at this question here. 1 over 2 divided by 2 over 9. We have to flip the second fraction, which will give us 1 over 2 times 9 over 2. Because we have to turn it upside down, then multiply. And once we have learned and we have learned earlier how to multiply, we just have to times the numerators by the numerators, denominators by denominators, which would give us a new fraction of 9 over 4. Now that we have 9 over 4, 9 over 4 is an improper fraction, so we need to simplify it to make it into a mixed fraction, which would give us the final answer of 2 with 1 over 4. If you already get the hang of it, please again pause the video and try these questions. So, first one on the left, 1 over 2 divided by 2 over 3. We have to do for all of them is to flip the second fraction. Flipping the second fraction will give us 2 over 3. Flipping the second fraction will give us 3 over 2. So the question on the left is going to give me 1 over 2 times 3 over 2, which will give us 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 2 is 4, so a new fraction of 3 over 4 without needing to simplify. The one in the middle, once we have flipped the 4 over 9, we can get 1 over 5 times 9 over 4, which will give us 9 over 20, which also doesn't need simplifying. And the last one on the right, 2 over 7 divided by 5 over 4. Flipping the 5 over 4 which will give us a new equation of 2 over 7 times 4 over 5. 2 times 4 gives us 8. 7 times 5 gives us 35, so the final answer is going to be 8 over 35. Now let's have a look at this worded problem. We have Leah here again. Leah has 11 over 12 meters pieces of wood. To make a square, she needs 4 pieces of 2 over 15 meters pieces. She would have enough wood to make a square. If so, how much wood would she need? So, will she have enough wood? We can deduce an equation by this question of 11 over 12 divided by 2 over 15. All we have to do is flip the 2 over 15, which will give us 11 over 12 times 15 over 2, which will give us 165 over 24, which once simplified will give us 6 with 7 over 8. 6 with 7 over 8 is greater than 4, so yes, therefore she will have enough. Now. If so, how much would she have left? We can see here earlier, we had 165 over 24. That was the total amount that she got. Now, the 96 over 24 is just going to be how much she's going to use. So once we have minus the two fractions, it will give us a new fractions of 68 over 24. And simplifying 69 over 24 will give us 2 with 21 over 24, which is the same as 2 with 7 eighths. So just a bit of summary. Multiplication of fractions, we have to multiply the numerator and denominator separately and form a new fraction and simplify if needed. And for division of fractions, we have to turn the second fraction upside down, then multiply like we learned earlier, and simplify if we needed. This is it for this video. Check out more English and maths content by exploring our channel.